welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to working on library section so open file library dot uh, php and update library dot php code is given here you can uh, download this file link is given in the video description and copy the code carefully till uh, above update line and paste it here in library section and the flow code that is here till the end of the file paste it in the update library section so now I can open library library uh, section has a little bit uh, have different uh, idea like uh, f the f name book name you mention here the book name uh, cover photo you can add cover photo in this uh, section and after that you can select the category the courses or the categories here you can uh, select the category which is uh, you can add any other category the categories will uh, display here you can select the category this book is from uh, machine learning so you can add here uh, full name of the book then upload the cover of the book so you know that how you can upload the photo but you uh, may cannot uh, know wh what is the procedure for upload book uh, like the PDF and the book name is for exceptional programmers projects so you can and add the description of the book like ABC here so you can add the description and you can simply uh, click on submit button to submit the form just one thing that is the book simply here is the form for the upload book and the upload file info here label you know that the where is the path of the book so after submission you know that the session how we can check session and then store variables from uh, sessions into the variables so submit button after submission you know that how to check name and a description whether it is uh, filled or not and it is how you can check the photo uh, and here is the cover photo and here is the PDF file it is a little bit different from the image so allow the extension so first of all mention here which files that you want to allow so the files that uh, only uh, with the extension PDF so no word or PowerPoint so you can uh, upload only the PDF file so the temp explode the file where is the file and the extension should be we can get extension by using the and uh, we know that the uh, extension like that library dot php dot php is the extension so we can get the extension uh, like this method so after getting extension so where we want to uh, upload the file the application hash uh, PDF so if the file is like this pattern it means that if the file extension is application uh, slash PDF if the file extension is PDF then this file is valid and this file is valid then upload this file the process start to upload this file into the uh, folder so if zero error if errors are zero uh, greater than one so return code and you can display the error 
so if the error value if error errors are zero then this condition is false if error are greater errors are greater than uh, zero maybe one two three to so then display the message that the file uh, the error is here so if you upload uh, for example uh, an image and you want to submit the button so the file is not PDF there is uh, the error that the file is not PDF uh, here is the check the file is not PDF and the if condition is checked by here by by this condition so you can display the message that the file is not PDF so target directory where we want to store books in go to EP and books folder so the books folder uh, where we want to uh, store the books by using uh, files array you can get the name of the file then uh, by using file name file name in PHP folder file uh, and then the file type what is the type of the file and then you can get the file size what is the size of the file so after getting all the things and you can generate a random number for new file name after generating the random number uh, and uh, getting extension you can uh, uh, if the book name is like uh, here you uh, the book name the book name is exceptional projects but book name in uh, books folder uh, you know that here is like a random number you can generate a random number by using this line uh, connection and round so micro time is a function that will return a, a random number and then after that this file uh, will store into this directory which is books is a directory and the fi new file name will be new file name which is stored in new file name variable so in this way you can upload for uh, any pdf file that you want uh, to share a book and you know that how we can update image so all the procedure is here so like that way uh, in update library uh, the hidden values will be so guess what are the uh, hidden values and uh, uh, here are some hidden values in this uh, section the two hidden values one is for book and one is for image so if you want to update the here is the description of the book you can watch the book by clicking the button here we will uh, see this in this video or later so the hidden value if you don't change the book and don't want to change the book or don't want to change the cover then the old values will be sent hiddenly and if this condition is not set look at here if this condition which is a cover condition is not set then consider the old one is uh, and here also if the book value PDF value is not given the new PDF is not uploaded then uh, click on uh, Dell file there is no need to file uh, delete the file because we are um, just we are going to change the name that in this way there is no need to change the file uh, or delete the file so after that upload insert here insert query and if del is equal to yes which means the photo cover picture is del uh, it means that you want to delete this picture if this condition is true then delete the old picture and also delete the old pdf there is no need if you want to change this book cover book cover so no need to store old cover or old book so in this way uh, we can um, update our library code and library which is simple just 
a little bit change for PDF like uh, update book and simply you can update you can view the description will cover in our uh, upcoming videos you can view book edit or delete and the view book is very easy and very interesting like go to the table and uh, here you simply just uh, button view and here whenever I click on this button which is book button I want to see the book what is the book that is uh, mentioned in this record so see, this is the line the code go to books book.php it means that go to books and in books folder go to book.php and open it book.php after that here is the get request name and the name of the book is uh, retrieved from the database so you simply in library section you can view that the book name is 16 and so on dot pdf so go to book.php and uh, by using get request get array you can get the name of the file over uh, the book and store it into the file one variable so the content type application PDF we are going to open application PDF and after that the content description in line file name and uh, encoding binary and read file this these uh, predefined functions will display the file automatically so file will display automatically this is in the books folder the few lines that which is very simple so you click on file and you can watch this file in this way there are some courses available on our channel thank you so much for watching this video see you in next lecture please subscribe our channel